Thank you for attending. My name is Richard Howe, and I am the leader of Inuvo. We trade on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol INUV. Throughout this presentation, I will make statements that are forward-looking. Please treat them as such. Inuvo is a company unlike any other that has come before it within the advertising industry. Our mission has been to build technology that can identify and target audiences without using personally identifiable consumer information and do so while performing better than any other solution. We want to be the next evolution in advertising technology. We are accomplishing this mission by being the first company in the world to design, develop, patent, and commercialize for advertising, large language generative artificial intelligence, and at roughly $75 million in 2023 revenue, we have had ample in-market client performance results to prove out our value proposition. We've served over 100 agencies and brands, have four large platform clients and counting, and a top three auto, retail, and tech company as clients. We have main offices in Little Rock, Arkansas, and San Jose, California. The market we serve is large and being disrupted by both legislative and technological changes that will affect hundreds of companies that serve the advertising industry. The internet, as we all know it, has been funded by advertising. Consequently, almost every aspect of how the internet works has been designed to facilitate the tracking of consumers around the internet since at least the early 90s. Over that time, many ways have emerged to both identify and use a consumer's data. These have included their IP address, their browser configuration, the tracking of URLs, and both the first and third party cookie ID, the latter the mainstay of modern advertising since the creation of the browser. What is less understood is that these identifiers are the mechanism through which a consumer's data is effectively onboarded for targeting. This means if there is no identifier, there is no way to use a consumer's data. The challenge for advertisers is that there is both legislative and technological pressure on the use of these identifiers for advertising. Apple has been the most impactful change agent in this equation, having systematically either eliminated or introduced features that prevent using a consumer's identity. Apple now controls roughly 55% of the mobile browser market, and they eliminated the third-party cookie from their browser in 2018. Google is phasing out the use of third-party cookies. The third-party cookie has historically been where your ID has been stored and the way you get tracked around the internet. This consumer privacy-led change will impact two of the most important aspects of online advertising, finding and targeting audiences and measuring the performance of advertising spend across marketing channels. Inuvo has used proprietary AI to solve both these problems. Large language-based artificial intelligence is the most exciting advancement in AI technology. The reason it is exciting is because it is based on our language, and it is that very language that forms the basis of our cognition. We humans understand and experience our reality through our language. If I say green, you immediately begin thinking about the color green, but beyond that, you have no idea of why I'm saying green. Is it because I'm interested in money? Or is it that I'm interested in the environment? Or am I just thinking about cutting my grass? This is where language models excel. However, the price of entering this area of technology is high indeed. It requires at a minimum, that you build a machine that can read, understand, associate, and model every single piece of content across the entire internet. This is what Inuvo has been able to design, build, patent, and sell. Our belief, which has now proven itself to be true, was that because this machine would know everything publicly available about every product, service, or brand that has existed, that it would also be able to figure out all the reasons why consumers might be interested in those products, services, or brands without needing to know who those consumers are. It would, for example, be able to determine that out of the thousands of reasons 
consumers might be interested in a Wall Street Journal subscription, that one of those reasons was because of the infamous case of Theranos, a story the journal broke. A technology that can discern the reasons behind a consumer's intent would unshackle marketing from its decades-long dependence on using consumer data and the structured databases that house that information. AI like this does not look up information. It generates information, which it uses to make decisions. We call this AI, the intent key, because it unlocks the key behind a consumer's intent. On the screen is what on the surface appears to be a random sampling of internet pages from an open web that contains hundreds of billions of such pages, each a possible opportunity to advertise to a suitable prospect. To bring order to this chaos, all our AI requires is the specific product, service, or brand being promoted. And once that is understood, the connections for audience membership is automatic. And suddenly from chaos, there is order. This is the power of unstructured, generative artificial intelligence. Automatically, thousands of individual segments, all representative of the different reasons why consumers are interested, are among the choices for prospecting new clients. And because the AI is adaptive and continuously learning, these audience segments change in accordance with the interest level in those products, services, and brands in a manner that has heretofore not been possible with structured databases of consumer information that are often out of date. Buying media is no different than buying stocks. There are buyers and sellers of that media. The website publisher is selling the media spot. The advertiser is bidding on that media spot. There are tens of billions of these individual transactions occurring every day in an auction. On this slide, we see the buyer on the left and the sellers on the right, with a simple example of what happens billions of times every day. In this case, the buyer is the Wall Street Journal. And as you will recall, our AI already understands all the reasons why consumers are interested in a subscription to the Wall Street Journal. The reasons behind the Theranos affiliation are highlighted in blue. There are, of course, thousands of other reasons why, and each of those would also have its own collection of conceptual connections. On the right side, there are two out of billions of independent media transactions available for purchase. At the bottom right, there is a site about George Schultz, the former Secretary of State, with a display media spot available to be purchased at the top of the iPad. In this case, there is nothing on this site that indicates his affiliation with Theranos, even though he was in fact on the board of that company. Our AI would immediately associate George Schultz with Tyler Schultz, his grandson, and the person who exposed the Theranos fraud. It would also connect them both to Elizabeth Holmes, the founder, along with the hundreds of other concepts associated with Theranos, from which it would conclude that the only reason someone is reading this page at this moment in time is because they are interested in the Theranos fraud and it would therefore place the ad on behalf of the client, which for this example would be the Wall Street Journal. This is how marketers can free themselves from the confines of marketing only to the information they or third parties have about consumers and take the high road with respect to the use of their customers' data Consumers don't want marketers using their information in this way. When you market to who people are, you prospect for more people who look like your existing people. When you market to the reasons why people are interested, you get all the people who share those same reasons why. The cookie going away, but more generally the use of consumer identity for ad targeting going away is causing a significant problem for marketers when it comes to measuring the performance of their media purchases. Because attributing a purchase to a consumer requires that the consumer be tracked across the internet. So attribution can be properly allocated to the channel responsible for that conversion. When you can no longer track those consumers, you can no longer attribute the success of the media purchases directly. Inuvo AI has solved this challenge 
we have developed and now deliver to our clients an integrated dashboard that predicts the value of every ad dollar they spend, giving them the ability to adapt their budgets across advertising channels and campaigns in a way that has not been possible before. This same dashboard also provides our clients with all the information they could possibly want or need related to their audiences, all of it generated by our AI without the use of any consumer data. From the individual audience segments to the reasons behind why those segments are interested, to the television programs and podcasts aligned with those audiences, to generated descriptions of the types of consumers that make up those audiences and their various demographics. Intent Key can even inform which states show the highest level of audience interest. There has never been a technology capable of these kinds of insights, all generated just in time without using structured databases as the source of information. This is intelligent, adaptive advertising using insights nobody else possesses, which means our clients can stop bidding against all their competitors for the same identity-based consumer segments and prospect in a way that gives them a competitive advantage. The growth trajectory of the company has been compounding at roughly 7.5% quarterly since the second quarter of 2020. We grew 32% year over year in the second half of 2023, and we believe we could continue that trend in 2024. We've served a diverse set of clients over the years, and what we've learned from those experiences is that our technology outperforms the best of the existing identity-based technologies. When we sign a new client, we invariably are measured against their best performing vendor. We have consistently outperformed those vendors by double digit percentages. The most exciting investment category right now is large language generative artificial intelligence. OpenAI and Google Gemini brought this technology into the conversation as the future of AI. Inuvo has been developing a similar technology since 2017 with a very specific use case, finding and targeting audiences without using a consumer's identity or data. We are the only company to apply this type of AI to this problem. The market we serve is changing rapidly with both legislative and technological pressure that will continue to prevent the tracking of consumers around the internet. We are ideally positioned for this accelerating disruption. We have growth momentum coming out of 2023, increased brand exposure as the cookie goes away, and a list of clients that provides a strong expansion foundation. The clients that use us first will realize a significant competitive advantage. Thank you for taking the time to hear Inuvo's story.